start working smarter with HBXL's Rapid Takeoff and Estimate Kit. In this video, I'll show you how to produce estimates direct from your plans by tracing over plans you've imported into Plans Express, then importing them into Estimator Express to create your estimate. Once you've opened Plans Express, you can import existing plans from a scanned image, PDF or CAD file. From the Drawing and Annotation tab, you can import AutoCAD files using the DWG DXF button. For now, let's use the Image button to import a PDF. Locate the PDF on your computer and click to open it. If the PDF has multiple images, you can select the page you want using the arrow buttons. Click twice to position the PDF on screen. You can rescale the PDF image if necessary. Now we can switch on scan mode, so we can clearly see the architectural elements as we trace over the existing drawing. When you select scan mode, everything you draw appears bold and red, so it can clearly be seen over the existing plans to remind you what you've already taken off. If we place construction lines around the external walls of the existing plans, we can quickly and accurately click around the intersection points to draw the external walls. Now we're ready to trace the walls. Select your external walls from the drop down menu. Select a wall type and wall height. Check the wall thickness, the foundation dimensions, the footings, and the plastering and decoration specification. Plans Express is gathering information for your estimate. Then simply click around the corners of the building using the construction lines to draw your walls. Repeat this process to draw your internal walls and add your slab in the same way. Now let's add the bifold doors. Select the door type from the doors drop down menu Confirm the door dimensions, check the reveal depths and the plastering, decoration and fixing details. Click to place your door in the wall. Add additional doors and windows in the same way. As you point and place your doors and windows, the software is busy counting the objects and the software measures in negative, automatically netting off the areas of the wall. Add your roof, checking you're happy with the pitch, soffit width, rafter and joist centres, fascia depths, tiling details and so on. Choose from a wide range of roof shapes which can be combined to create an almost unlimited number of roof configurations. Continue tracing your plans in this way and once complete, save your drawing, ready to import into Estimator Express. Launch Estimator Express. Before you import your plans, update your material prices using the Download Prices button. Check and adjust your labour rates in the labour section of the price book, which can be found in My Settings. Then click My Estimates to begin your estimate. To complete your rapid takeoff and create a new estimate, click the New Estimate button on the ribbon. There are four ways of creating an estimate in Estimator Express. If you've purchased the QuickQuote plugin, you can use QuickQuote to estimate using a standard job template. You can also use QuickQuote to produce a custom estimate for renovation or non standard builds. You can also import plans from Plans Express for rapid takeoff which we're doing now. 
Finally, you can produce a custom estimate using estimating calculators. For now, let's select the Plans Express import option. Locate the Plans Express drawing file you've just saved. The new estimate wizard pops up. Enter a name for your job and select a job description. Click here to enter the customer address details. Now select a price book. The price book contains all of the materials, labour and plant needed for your estimate. I've selected the master price book, which is the price book provided with the software. You can set up merchant links and customise your price book from my settings. Now select a group of workbooks. Workbooks are estimating calculators used to price up your job. There are a number of groups of workbooks already set up in Estimator Express, which are tailored for different types of work. When importing a Plans Express file for rapid takeoff, select the Plans Express import group of workbooks. This will add workbooks which won't typically be drawn, such as site preliminaries and subcontractors, to your estimate. You'll have the opportunity to add other workbooks once you've created the estimate, and delete any that you don't need. Select a job start date and a chart type to help you manage the work. Select a specification for the job. I'm going to select the extension specification. This specification will use plant appropriate for work where the space is limited, such as mini diggers rather than JCBs. It will also allow more time to complete the different labour tasks than the new build specification. As with the price books, you can customise your specifications from My Settings. You can refine your specification further by selecting Mini Specs from the options below. I'm going to select a 70p facing brick and I'm going to select Pan Tiles for an extension. I'm going to leave the rest of the Mini Specs set to same as specification as I'm happy to leave the guttering, facias and decoration as they're set up within the specification. Don't forget to review the profit markup by clicking the review profit markup button. The figures you see in your estimate are actual costs. You can set the percentage profit markup you want to achieve for each type of resource here as you create your estimate. You can also amend the profit markup at a later point once you've completed your estimate. And you can also review your inflation rates in the same way. Once you're happy with your selections, click create estimate. Estimator Express produces the estimate in just a couple of minutes by taking off the dimensions from your Plans Express drawing and combining them with the specification, mini specs and price book you've selected. You can now see the cost of each component of the extension and the total cost is shown at the bottom of the screen. You can review your estimate, adding any preliminary costs such as site acquisition, design costs and site establishment. Once your estimate is complete, click the Reports tab to view a range of reports. To create a professional looking quote to impress your customer, click the Customer Quotes button. In the Quote Wizard, you can decide how much detail you'd like to show in the quote. No resources, key resources or all resources, you choose. For a more detailed quote, you can show phase totals and also build phase pictures. Always useful when doing domestic work. You can also decide if you want to show sales price including inflation and customer friendly descriptions. You can also choose to show order quantities. Select a cover letter from the drop down box. We've provided a range of template letters but you can create your own templates or simply edit the default letter once you've opened your quote in Word. Once you're happy with the presentation of your quote, click print. Set the VAT rate in the dialog box which pops up. After a few moments, the quote opens in Word. Notice that you can import your own company logo onto the cover page. Here's the cover letter we selected, which we can now edit on the fly. You'll see the quote is broken down into build phases, showing the level of detail you specified in the quote wizard. So there you have it. See how much time you could save, pricing your job from existing plans and creating a professional looking quote with HP Excel's Rapid Takeoff and Estimate Kit.